Hey friends, welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. Look what I have. Um, you have to pardon my um, gloves. My I have arthritis, uh, among the other issues, and they're kind of acting up. So I hope you'll forgive the gloves. Um, but I just had to show you this uh, book. I, I got it in a few days ago, but I have not looked through it, nor have I watched anybody color in it. So I have no idea. This is like my first time reaction. I, I knew, a, I've seen other people that have, you know, done things in it. And I just, I wanted to be, I wanted you guys to get my genuine first time reaction. So this is Tales from Atlantis uh, by Hannah Carlson. I love her books. Like some people like Johanna's books. Um, which I like her books too, but I'm more partial to Tahana, I think. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Look at that. Um, she, she does her books a lot like, um, Clara Makrova, kind of, almost. So anyway, Uh, Tales from Atlantis. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Okay. Make sure I'm in screen. Okay, cool. Uh, 2023. Yep, last year. Uh, I wish I could have gotten a non-English version, but unfortunately all I can get my hands on really are the, um, English versions, so. But either way, uh, yes, this English edition was copyrighted this in 24, so, yeah. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. Oh, I love this portrait. Ooh, nice portrait. Okay. Not Hmm, this is intriguing. That's kind of a Mandela, I think. Wow. Well, that is... There's a lot going on there. I really do wish, though, that she would not put the designs all the way to the binding because it's very hard to color that close, you know, so you end up not coloring part of it. Uh, but, you know, that's just me. It's my little beef. She's not the only one, by the way. There's a lot of artists that do it. I can't help but wondering how she's doing. I know she had brain cancer, I think, or something like that. Um, I, I, I hope she's doing well. Oh, look at the pretty goldfish. Just another little portrait. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this might be my favorite one so far. Oh, this just might be my favorite picture. Ooh. Mm, this one's okay. I don't... It's okay. Uh, yeah, I really like that one. Hoo-hoo, wow. Make sure this is... It. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. Wow. There, that is a lot going on. Wow, this this would take a minute. <laughs> this is one of those things where I would do half one year and maybe half the other half the next year. Wow, that is crazy good, but crazy busy. Wow, that's incredible. There's a good one like that, and I love that one. I forget what these are called, man. I, I know there's a name for them. I just can't remember what it is. You know, senior moment and all that. <sighs> That's good. Oh, jellyfish. Love it. That's cool. Nice portraits. And I've noticed that their noses are all kind of like got this little bump a lot of them have this like little bump right here um and they're sort of turned up at the end 
I noticed that's kind of a common way for her to do noses. I just find it curious. I don't dislike it, but it, I am kind of curious. <gasps> oh my gosh. <coughs> I need to do this one for Valentine's I know today's Valentine's Day. I need to do this one. After I finished the one from Small Victories, the, the Big Heart, um, I'm. this is next. This one's next on my hit list. And I haven't done any kind of a fairy yet for February. Uh, just, I've been, had a lot going on. This is good. I like that one. That's cool. Wow. That's cool. Ah, I like that one. This one is very busy. This would take a, a, a minute. It's good though. <gasps> yes. Yes. Yes, please. I mean, that one's good, but yes, please. <laughs> yes, please to this one. Wow. Oh, wow. This is cute. Very art deco kind of thing. This is nice. I'm not sure why there's a swan under sea, but okay, it's still nice. Wow, this would definitely take a minute. It's good, but it is definitely busy. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure it was still in frame. Um, I like that one. I like that one too. I think this is a griffin, maybe? No, not a griffin. I can't remember now. Jeez. Um, put if anybody knows in the comments, please put it in the, and let me know in the comments. Um, I can't remember the name of what this is supposed to be. I know it's not a griffin because the griffin's part word. Please let me know in the comments what what you think of that. And if you're enjoying this, please consider liking and sharing and all all the YouTube things. Thank you. Oh, these are nice. It's definitely um, a little bit different than I've seen from her before. It's definitely got a, a, a very much of a different vibe, but yet some things are still the same. I like that one. Whoa! Um, all of this right here, I'm probably either going to do with fine liners or block out entirely. <laughs> that is yikes. <laughs> That is a, that is a yikes. That's a lot, but this is gorgeous. But that's a lot right there, people. That, that's, that would take um, a minute. So either a fine liner or I'm just gonna probably black it out. That's just too much for me. Wow. I love this one. You see what I mean about the noses though? It's kind of interesting, like it's one of her signatures. Oh, this is good. I really like this one a lot. That'll be good for Mermaid Month. There's the ducky. Maybe that's the ducky I was seeing earlier. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I like a, how, like, it's a little vignette almost, this one. Huh. I love this one. It's a little simpler, um, a little more doable. <laughs> I have vision issues, so sometimes that's why I say, like, if I go back to this one, if I can find it. Um, this one. This is this stuff right here is very hard for me to see. I have to wear like uh, magnifying glasses, kind of like this, or use my um, 
my, uh, my uh, magnifier, my big one, that is also doubles as a, a, a ring light. This, this would be very hard for my eyes. Wow. This is good. Huh, I like that one. And there we go. Now this is one that can be done really quickly and you could add a lot of stuff to There's a lot of negative space to work with if you wanted to add your own little flair. But overall, great book. There's a few pages, I'm not going to lie, that don't really interest me that much. There's a couple of them that I'm like, uh. um, But the majority of it, yeah, the majority of it's great. There's just a few, you know, but that's going to be that way with every coloring book. You know, there's always going to be a few pages that interest you more than others. That's pretty normal. Um, but yeah, there it is, guys. And on the back, it says, uh, see if I get my eyes to cooperate. Beneath a mirror like surface of the water lies a slumbering hidden city waiting to be brought back to life. Go on an adventure to the bottom of the sea. Discover ruins, corals, seahorses, and treasures in the company of imaginative fish and mermaids. Welcome to, and mermen, I saw a couple of mermen. Welcome down to a realm where time has stood still. Welcome to Atlantis. And then there's a little blurb about Hannah Carlson. She specializes in detailed India ink drawings, which I can tell she does it like that. Um, and she lives in, and I cannot pronounce this, but it's, I believe, in Sweden. U-M-E-A with the X, some little dot over the A. Um, it's the fifth book in her Tales from series. Other titles are uh, Tales from the Midnight Masquerade, which I have. And I have a review over that, so look for that. I do, the only one I, of her books I actually don't have is Tales from the Witch's Cottage, and I, I have purposely not bought that one. But I have all the others. In fact, I have two of the Forest Kingdom. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. This book is, overall, is really great. I, I, I absolutely know which picture I'm going to do first, though. So stay tuned for that, guys. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Love to you all.